Welcome to You Don't Know Jack About Movies. If you were not here last year, or you just don't remember, on my very first episode, I called the 2008 film Twilight. And I still stand by that opinion. Twilight and New Moon are horrible, horrible films. Now, with that, you're probably wondering what I thought of the third film, Eclipse. Well, I hate saying this, but while Eclipse is not a good movie, it wasn't as painful or as hilarious as the first two. In fact, it had some brief moments of decency. I'm not recommending it, I'm just saying it's a, just a bad movie, and it's not a travesty of humanity like the first two movies. Besides, it turns out this is not the worst film of the year. Now I know what you're thinking. What could be worse than Eclipse? Well, that honor goes to M. Night Shyamalan's adaptation of the cartoon show The Last Airbender, which in many ways is the opposite of Inception. Whereas Inception was an absolute success in every category, The Last Airbender is an unbelievable failure in every category. The acting and casting, horrible. The special effects and action scenes, laughable. The dialogue, the worst ever put in a movie since Star Wars Episode II. What makes it worse is that this movie had potential. It could have been good. The TV show it's based on is great. It's one of my favorites. This is the finished movie? It comes out on DVD and Blu-ray this week, but I'm not saying you should see it. You'll probably live a better life without it. I repeat. Don't even rent it. Don't send the message to Shyamalan that people are actually willing to pay money and waste time for this film. Let it fade into non-existence, for it is not just the worst film of 2010. Let it be known that it is also... The worst film in time.